Hi friends, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this really fun shaker card for you today. I'm going to be using a whole bunch of different products from Honey Bee, including the Trick or Treat stencil set, the Boo Honey Cuts, and the Boo Stamp Set. And I am also going to be using the Sweet Stack Circle die set as well. I'm not going to show you the whole die set right now, but I just wanted to show you here how I cut my card base. I used one of the larger circles from the Circle Sweet Stacks, and I just hung the edge of the top of the circle over top of the fold in an A2 size card base. And here you can just see that you just cut over top of that, leaving that one edge overhanging so that that folded edge doesn't get cut in any way, except where you want it to right where the circle meets the edge there. And so that you end up with a top folding circle card base. And I'm actually going to do some ink blending on that card base here today, starting with some Distress Ink in Chipped Sapphire. So these are all Distress Inks, not Distress Oxides, and I'm using Chipped Sapphire, Dusty Concord, Seedless Preserves, and Black Soot to create the black the background for my sweet little scene here that's going to be the, the backer for my shaker element. So you'll just see me here working away. I am working on my waffle flower stencil mat, which you can find in the Honey Bee Shop. And I'm just gonna blend over here with one of my Honey Bee blending brushes. Just gonna tap off some of the excess before I go on to my cardstock base here. And eventually I'll just end up with a really nice smooth blend of these four different colors. So you'll just see me here blending away and I will go in with a Dusty Concord next. I will blend that Dusty Concord up into the chipped sapphire so that the two colors are blended together. And what I was going for here is just sort of like a really spooky night sky for my haunted house and my creepy tree and the clouds that I'm going to be stenciling on here from that trick or treat stencil set. So I'm just blending that purple into the blue there and then I'll go in with the seedless preserves and I will blend up into that dusty concord in the same sort of way just creating that really pretty blend of the blues and purples and you'll just see me there blending a little bit of that on I'm not showing you all of the blending here just because it's the same thing over and over again and then I will just take some masking paper and I'm just going to um, cut sort of like a little wavy line as well you could also use one of the honeybee masks um, which I will link to as well in the description box as well as all of the other products I'm using here but I just decided to just grab my masking paper here and then you can just see I'm going in with a black soot and this is just going to create kind of like a wavy ground area there for the ground for my stenciling that I'm going to be doing and the bottom portion of the card there so I'm just going to get a nice solid black soot blended on there and then I will remove that masking paper and I will start my stenciling process here. So super fun to create a background in this way. I love this little stencil set. It is so much fun. I just got it and I've been playing with it a lot and it is just, I love it so much. It's super, super fun. So here's that creepy tree and I'm just gonna take my small uh, detail blending brush from Honey Bee. I'm going to go over that with the black soot. You can see that I have some of the areas of the mask of the stencil masked off with my masking tape there just so that I don't blend over an open area on the stencil that I don't want to blend over and that just helps you there protect that open area of the stencil super easy to do and I am also going to stencil on one of the little haunted houses that's part of one of the of this the second stencil so these are just two two different stencils as part of the trick-or-treat stencil set and this particular stencil has the little houses it's got um, a moon a few moons on there some creepy clouds and just you can really do some fun things with this stencil set I love it so I'm just going over this now with my black soot and blending on with my detail blending brush. I love that the Honey Bee brushes come in lots of different sizes so that you can definitely um, make use of these fine detail brushes as well. Just going in here and I'm gonna do these clouds as well and get these all blended on. And I think I end up just doing two different clouds here for this portion of the background. So I'm just gonna do another little tiny cloud there as well. 
And now you'll just see there, I'm going to do, oh, I'm actually not going to reveal that to you right now. I will show you that very soon. So now I've taken one of the other circle dies from the sweet stack circles, and I've cut out a piece of acetate or mylar. I will link up to some of this product in the description box as well. That's going to be part of my shaker element. I'm going to take two of the smaller circles and I'm going to tape them together to create a little frame for my circle. Um, my circle shaker element as well. So here you can just see that I'm layering those together. I'm going to tape that down, run that through my die cutting machine. And in that way, I end up with a little frame for my circle element here. So that is going to get adhered onto that acetate and that will help me build my shaker element here. So here you can just see those two pieces, how they're going to lay so nicely over top of my base. And now I'm just going to go ahead and glue with my honeybee precision glue here um, this background or this i should say this uh, frame onto my acetate piece here so i'm just going to layer those together just kind of grab the sides the edges so that it's nice and centered and that will be all ready to go now i'm going to take some foam strips and i'm going to add that foam strip layer to the back of my frame and I'm going to double up my foam here because I wanted there to be lots of room for my shaker bits for my shaker element here to have room to move around so what I'm going to do there is take that um, release paper off and add a second layer of foam so that the foam is nice and thick and now I'm taking the graveyard sequin mix from honeybee I've made a mark on the back of my card here where the center is and I'm using Using my centering ruler from my make art uh, station um, um, mat here to help me line that up so that when I lay it down onto the sticky portion of my shaker element here you can see how it's nice and centered so now I really love how that looks the little shaker bits are so sweet love that so much really really cute so I'm really having fun playing with it clearly here so I just wanted to show you how that looks, how that works. Now I have cut out, I have die cut out um, from the boo buzzword, this boo word here. And there's three different layers to this die set, which is super fun. So the middle layer I cut out of some um, kind of gray shimmery cardstock here. And I'm going to lay that onto the largest boo, which is the base. And I've cut that out of some purple paper from the Halloween Harvest paper pad. And I cut the smallest boo or the most detailed scripty boo from also from patterned paper from Halloween Harvest. It's the paper with the spider webs on it. And the white just layers so nicely on top of that gray glitter paper. And you can just see that that little bit of detail with the spider webs just adds the perfect little je ne sais quoi. And I really love how the purple paper has the skulls on it as well. Now I'm going to use the boo stamp here for a detailed stamp for my sentiment. But you can see all the fun things that are part of this set, like you do you boo and all the different different. Um, check your boo <laughs> you can use all of these different combos however you want it's super fun i love that set it's really cute um, so i'm going to use some embossing ink with this i'm going to emboss the word hey because my sentiment's going to be hey boo and i'm going to do that onto some black cardstock stamp that out now i'm going to put some white embossing powder on there heat that up with my heat tool melt that and then i will trim that out and add that to my sentiment here. So I do have some adhesive on the back of this boo buzzword here. I'm going to adhere that onto the top of my shaker element. Then I will take that word hey. I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive to the back of it just to pop it up a little bit using my honeybee tweezers to help me with this because they are a must. They are every card maker's dream tweezers. And they help with all of those really precision surgical moments that you need tweezers for when you're making a card. So I've got the hay, uh, hay put on there now. You can see how nice this stands when it's opened, how nice it shakes, and how much fun that would be to give to someone as a birthday. If you have someone that has an October birthday or something like that, this is really fun. I love this card so much. Now I'm just going to take my white gel marker and I'm going to add a few little stars to my night sky here. I'm just going to add a few, not 
go too crazy here. Um, if you want those to be in the night sky behind your shaker element, you'd have to have added those first. I wasn't too worried about that. I just thought that I would just go ahead and add these on and I just, you know, adding a few little dots here and there. So not too many. I also did add a few water drops to the background. You can see that the there's a few distressed marks on that ink and that's you wouldn't have to do that but I just think it kind of makes the background look a little more interesting with some of those water drops on there as well and that's going to finish up my card so I hope you enjoyed this make sure that you check the links to all of the products that I've used from the honeybee shop in the description box below I hope you have an amazing day I hope you stay safe and I hope you have a beautiful weekend <laughs> see you soon Bye bye